Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, I'm not even going to tell you what we're doing today. You'll know from the title. I am just going to go straight into it and video. This is hopefully going to be one of the cutest vlogs I have ever done. I am so excited. Um, it rhymes with getting a schmernend for pack. <laughs> I'm so excited. So, I'm going to go and have a look and I'm going to take you with me and film what I can. hope you guys enjoy. We're on the road again. Do, 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 do. Okay, sorry, I'll stop. That song is literally the one. Every time we used to go to a show when I was a kid, my dad would get into the horse lorry and start singing it. Um, anyway, that is a cherry bakewell and it was delicious. And this was... You already know what I'm going to say. This was the cutest thing I have ever witnessed in my life. So I went to a miniature horse farm to try and find Blackjack a girlfriend. So hopefully you guys know who Blackjack is. He is the love of my life, Miniature Shetland, who I got during lockdown. He has brought so much joy to my life, I can't even explain. But he can't play with the big horses, and I just feel like he's lonely. So I wanted to originally get him a girlfriend, because I would love to have miniature babies. But when I went here, I realized all these ladies were a little bit young, and you have to wait till they're about three, I think, before you can start breeding. And all of these were like a few months old. I think they were born in like June or July. Um, so I would have to wait like three years until, until my lady was ready. Um, but that just sounds a bit, a bit weird to me. So I changed my mind and decided I wanted to just get him a friend. Um, it took ages because, I mean, look around. How are you meant to pick one? I mean, I would have taken them all home. Look at this. This was a mama bear. And I just, I would have taken the mums. I would have taken the baby. I would have taken them all. Like, I wish I could afford them all. They were just absolutely gorgeous and I think what was really cool about this place is as you can see how unique they were so many different colors different patterns and whatnot I know that sounds really like non-horsey but you know what I mean I'm actually full of cold right now as well while I'm doing this voiceover so if I sound really nasal I am so sorry like I never sound like this I normally have a much smoother tone um I just got to know all these little guys and oh my did you see it just run? They were so cute. One was lying down. They, it was literally just a miniature's world at this at this farm. Um, as you can see, that little spotty one in the middle, I actually fell in love with that one. I've never seen one as unique in markings, but he was the most expensive in the crowd, as you can imagine. He was stunning. Um, but I figured I'd rather either get a couple or get one and maybe rescue another. Someone recently commented on my TikTok and pointed out that there was a miniature rescue center. So I'm gonna take a look at that because I already have a rescue Shetland called Bacardi, as a lot of you may know, but I really do like rescuing, the or the idea of like rescuing animals too. And the best thing about my yard is I have a ton of space. And if Blackjack's anything to go by, these little guys don't take up any room at all. They just, they just bring you so much joy. They're not super hard to look after. They don't take up much room and they don't, they don't need as much feeding as a regular sized horse as you guys will, will, will know. So I would happily collect a few more. So I'm gonna take a look at the rescue center next and see about rescuing one or two to accompany Blackjack and Bacardi. But I'll be honest, I did find one I was very obsessed with at this farm. Um, I'm not allowed to collect him just yet because he's too young. So I get to collect him in a few weeks, I believe. And I will obviously vlog that for you. I would love to hear your guesses on who you think I've gone for. Obviously, it's very difficult, but maybe just comment which color you think. I mean, how cute was this done girl? She was a little girl. She was so feisty. And oh, she was beautiful. I really liked her. My Claire said no. 
because we decided against a girl when we were there. But, oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, if you get to do one thing in your life, please visit a miniature horse farm and just pet them and love on them and watch them trotting around. Their legs are just so small and their little tiny hoofies. It just doesn't make any sense. They're just so small. It doesn't make sense how they're this small. Like, I don't understand how it works. Like, it, it doesn't make sense. Anyway, I've been really waffling. Oh my gosh, look at the little fluff. There's just, they're so fluffy. There's so much floof everywhere. And this was possibly the best day of my entire life. Um, I am so excited to hear your comments and who you think I've gone for. Um, and then after that, I want name guesses. Like, the name guesses are really cute. So we've got a blackjack and who's next? And then in the next clip that's going to come on the screen, uh, you'll see me with a little kitten. I have shown her on a lot of my social medias. Um, she is called Betty. And I explain a little bit in my closing clip, but they had one kitten from the litter. They, the cat had only had one and they brought her out just to show me and I absolutely fell in love with Betty and I'm not normally a cat person I'm more of a dog person but my friend said it only takes one cat and as you can see oh, this is the one so we did pick one out you guys are gonna have to guess who um let me know in the comments who you think we got that was the cutest experience ever ever I want to take them all home Unfortunately, I'm not allowed. Claire says I'm not allowed. <laughs> You're definitely not allowed. Gosh, she's such a fun sponge, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> but um, in other news, I bought a cat. So just as we were leaving, they said that they had a kitten for sale as well. And I took one look at her and went, okay, look at her little face. Okay, come here, baby. You need to look at the camera, Miss Missy. Hi. After one mile. Keep oh what? my god, possibly the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, the little girl said her name was Lilibet, named after obviously our lovely late queen. So yeah, that happened. You need a stable cat. Having adult money we is such actually, a problem. <laughs> it's we did a need real a stable cat. She's a stable cat. Yes, she's going to be a stable cat. She's going to she's going to live in, at the yard, but. So now we have to introduce the dogs. Yeah, hopefully the doggies are going to be best friends with her. We will find out. But they're scared of her. I think they'll be scared of her. But anyway, yeah, that's, the, that's this video. There's going to probably be a part two, three, and four. So please do like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. God knows what I'll buy that time. I've told the the people to please not have any puppies or anything because I'm a weak-willed woman. You can't be trusted. Now keep right. Anyway.